my name is Nicholas Gooden and I am a, an urban photographer. Um, I like to call myself an urban photographer rather than a street photographer because I shoot all of London, um, not just its people but also the buildings, the landscape. I always loved street art and graffiti so I wanted to go out there and document it and as I documented it um, the graffiti started sort of shifting towards taking more of a uh, back seat and being the back backdrop to my photography. So I took a step back and another step back and then I ended up doing landscapes, urban landscapes. I think for the last four years mostly I've had um, quite a lot of commissions. My first job was with um, Adidas um, for the Rugby World Cup. They saw some of my cinemagraphs, uh, which is sort of the latest thing I've been into. Um, and they really liked them. They wanted me to produce cinemagraphs for the Rugby World Cup. And since then I've worked with um, Heineken, with Jose Cuervo, Tequila, uh, McLaren, Peugeot, Citroën. So quite, quite a long list and I've really aimed to work with the top brands to really attract more clients. I was shown cinemagraphs by someone and I thought this is just, just really exciting uh, and I want to get into it. Cinemagraphs are mostly loops of maybe 10 seconds that people share on social media. And what I found with most of them uh, is that you reach the end of the 10 second and it would sort of jump back to the beginning and not be smooth at all, like a gif or... Uh, and so I, I was really focusing on making them seamless um, to a point where hopefully people cannot see the beginning and the end of it. I understood quite early, and I think you know I'm not the only one, the importance of social media uh, in order to broadcast your work. Um, it's it's like an amplification, you know. It's uh, you can really sort of reach people that you wouldn't have been able to reach without social media. You know, as a one-man band, uh, you've got to focus on certain uh, social media and not take more than you can chew, because I think if you take on too much, people can very quickly realize that you're not doing any of it really well. I think one of my favorite projects was my Great Londoners series, which is a black and white series of shots of people in the streets, but candid shots, so none of them aware that I'm shooting them. Trying to capture really the real them, because as soon as you say to someone, I'm taking your photo, the expression changes, etc., and I think you, you lose a lot. I've sort of lost the interest in shooting people without their consent. Um, I suddenly had some kind of ethical realization uh, that that it wasn't, yeah, it was it wasn't necessarily right. It's a weird thing because you think, well, there is a necessity to document uh, people in the street without them knowing because we're just documenting the times of our lives. You know, we're not doing anything wrong, really. We're just, you know, if you look at photo photos by the grandmasters, you know, street photography. Uh, well, they all shoot people without their consent, and we love looking back at these photos because they just show a time and um, and, and there's a lot of humor, there's a lot of um, emotions expressed in this work. But these days, I just don't enjoy doing it as much because I just. I realized that some people just would be a bit offended if they knew that I took their photo. Especially, I think today, it's a very different time as it was 50 years ago. People are a lot more paranoid, maybe. 